for um, snake that um, when they first come out, but they failed us big time, so we'll just give it to Annie Jen. Annie Jen Munro from uh, Redfern, Sydney. Thank you, um, Sister Girl. Um, it's a great privilege for our mob to come across and be stand in solidarity with you mob here in Western Australia. Um, at the moment, this is the front line of our battle with the system in this country. Uh, we have fought wars. They mightn't declare the war, but we have suffered many battles and lost many of our people in this undeclared war against the white men and their illegal occupation of our lands. They are an illegitimate regime for 227 years. They have been the ones that brought this barbaric behaviour to our country. Our children are our gift from God. We have never ever practised in these pedophile abuses of our children the way this system and these people do. They are depraved and very sick people. They need help badly. They will, unless we make them realise and make them change, they will continue to make conditions so bad for our people that we are dying in our 30s and in our 40s from diseases that old people die from. Our children are being removed now more than they ever have been within the uh, 227 years of our illegal occupation on our lands. When they came here in the boats in 1788 on our side of the country, they were raping the sheep because they had no women. That's how bad they were, and they're still as bad as that, if not worse. If these men here stand here and have any conscience, put yourself in our shoes for one minute and think about what you'd do if they'd come to take your children the way you come to take ours every day. You would stand, you would fight, you would defend your children's life with your own. They would do no less, so don't expect any less from us. We will stand and fight for our children. They are our birthright, they are our future. And we have fought the police for 227 years. They call them the Red Coats first, they call them the Mounted Police, they call them the Mounted Native Police. Now they just call them the police. But we have had to fight them for a very long time. They need to understand when they put that uniform on, they are an agent of repression for our people. All of them, everywhere in this country. They carry out the instructions of their masters. They don't even think for themselves, the poor fools. They have a limited capacity to understand what's going on here and they don't even want to find out the truth. And that makes them a very sad people. The British, if they wanted to set up a peel and colony, there was thousands of barren islands around England or Britain. They came halfway around the world to invade us. And they are still invading our minds and our bodies and our psyche today. We're stronger than that. We've survived so far. We will continue to survive. We will continue to resist. We will continue to tell our truth to this country and to the world. You are the barbarians. You are the uncivilized. Go home. Leave us in peace. Yeah. Yeah.